Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Infiltration. So this episode I'm recording back to back with the last one, which was recorded the day after the two before that. So if you're, if I don't uh, adjust my playstyle based on any comments in those last few episodes, it's just because I haven't, uh, these have, they haven't been posted yet. Um, anyway, so let's have a look at what we're doing today. Um, I did try to start this episode a little while ago and I did try and do uh, Intelligence Agent. But it crashed going down to the planet's surface, and I think I'm going to shy away from that today. I think what we'll do is we'll do Letter of Mark today, um, and see what we can pick up off of this one. Um, we're going to take four Clan Wolf today, uh, so let's negotiate. I know I was saying that we should probably go against them, uh, simply because um, they shot us in the back the other day, but I think we want to get a little bit more uh, uh, rep with these guys. So 200,000 for the drop, 2 of 9, let's accept this. And I think we're only going to go with these guys. I think we're going to limit our drop weight. Oh, how much is it for one more mech, though? 13,000? Yeah, let's go to the throw. We need to get our pilot's experience anyway, so let's deploy. Yeah, we know our uh, mongoose is a little underweight, but that's okay. All right, here we go. Remind these brigands what disciplined mech warriors can do. All right. Oh. Can we get down there? Oh, this was the same map that we had the base on. Oh, uh, well, that'll be interesting. All right, well, let's rock and roll. Receiving. Um... I don't know, let's go this way, maybe, maybe, Reporting. maybe, oh yeah, we can go that way, okay, good. As you wish. Infiltrator, wow, we got some speed too in this Jenner, keep forgetting how fast this thing is, may want to lower the engine slightly. Lower the engine, add a bit more weapons. If we can get another Streak 6, we can swap out the uh, Streak 4 for a 6. I don't know if we can get over where we want to go from that way, so let's go this way. I should just change the name of the Firefly to the, Ser to the Serenity. All right, see what we got up here. Nothing yet. I'm receiving you. Hmm. Get up as far as you can. Gandal. Full speed, no shoot. Okay. Hi, Goofy. No sensors yet? Okay. Yeah. Alien. Affirmative. Well, at least most of our guys have got, well, some of our guys have got jump jets. And we got some long range weaponry, so if we're stuck up on the hills, we'll uh, just to make do. All right. Yeah, they're still a good distance away. Uh, I wonder... Can we get down? We can. we got to go all the way to the end and then come back up. And I'm not prepared to do that. Well, let's get along this way. Get along, little doggy. Alright. Hunchback. Ooh, Arctic Fox. Owens. 
Urban Mech, Urban Mech, Bulldog. These guys have all got low armor. Uh, what version of the Hunchback is this? Heavy and medium rifle, okay. And Arctic Fox, that's some good salvage. Wow, that's a clan mech with like inner sphere technology. Is it not? Isn't the Arctic Fox a clan mech? Owens. Okay. This urban has got crap on it. This one's got a mortar airburst. SRM4 standard large laser. Okay. All right. That's not bad. I think we could take those guys. Okay. Focus to see. Be nice to get. I mean, we'll get at least one hunchback part of this, as long as we're not forced to bail out. So that's okay. Wow, nice shot. Here we go. Good work. Whatever we can get on them early, we're going to take it. Concerned about my guys here that are uh, all close range. Got to pull that hunchback down fast. So we got our alarms coming up though. Concerned about how slow this mech is. Copy that, Commander. Ooh, hunchback's out of range, eh? These guys have got really low armor. Let's just fire, well, 10%. All right, we'll take it on this guy. Not even one hit, eh? Fail to connect. You think? Let's get another clan LRM fifteen and we could put it on that me that mech as well. Beautiful thing about those the LRMs is that they're half weight, right? So it'd only be three and a half tons to put it on. And then another ton of another ton of uh, ammo and some case. Replace that large laser. I think we could probably, I don't know what I'll do with that large laser. Probably just sit in the storage for now. I like the idea of running five mediums on the, uh, on the uh, mongoose. So that's the vehicle there. The IC engine. Hmm. I'll take a shot at that Owens. Ooh. Kind of nice. Should give us four chevrons. Yep. Uh, what do we got here? The Owens, 63%. Almost no armor too, right? 50%. 50%. I think we go against the Owens. I know I said the Hunchback, but I think the Owens is a better deal here. Okay. Nice shooting. Let's get up in my ECM bubble here if we can. Apparently not. This will give me a strike on the Owens though, will it? No, it won't. This will though. We're in medium laser range? No, a tag range. Ah. He's going down. Yeah, sure he is. That didn't hit. No, no it didn't. Something, I can do. Something you can do? Get your ass up here for now. Bustin' ah! I love that. Alright, Dallas. Got it. Full speed, no target. Can you hit the Owens? You can. Let's try it. Confirmed. Oh, two hits. Okay, we penned. Nice. That hit something good. Helion.
I want to put you in a fire support role up here. No, then they'll just all shoot at you. Let's just get over this way. I got it. Don't think. Don't shoot. Just run. No, think, shoot, and run. That's how it works. That's how we all stay alive. Come on. So I'm not giving my main guy um, multi-target. And the reason for that is um, because he can't die, he's going to be the tank of the group, so he's going to be up front. The minus 50% the minus critical hits are really going to uh, really help him out. That's for sure. I think, Goofy, we're going to go up the uh, tactics tree. I want to get sensor lock. Gundal, I don't know. The name is like is like a uh, um, Enemy oh, is like a uh, um, gunnery uh, mech pilot, right? It's got to be all gunnery. Okay, they're not shooting. Out of range, or they just can't see us? I do have the ECM on here. Oh, they can see us. That's that mortar. Airburst mortar. Let's be aggressive. Let's be aggressive. Firing on the Owens. Firing a full salvo. Critical hit, Commander. Nicely done. What's the plan? Plan is for you to get your asteroid up here. Gotta get some hits on this Owens here. Firing. Okay, some pens, nice. Huh. Wait, where was that blue line over here? Oh, it's down here? Here? What is this guy? Oh, it's the pirate urban mech. Um, he's the one with the airburst mortar, right? Am I mistaken or am I correct on that? Let's walk over here. Doesn't matter. It's the best target. So we're going to walk over, get our stability back, target this guy and fire, and not hit anything. Because that's how we do. Shoot that vehicle at the poop chute. Right up Main Street. Let's hope we hit though. Oh, it's already taking a good side hit. Nice hits. Nice hits. We're going to get some L arms on this guy now that he's been crit. How? Ah, oh, he's still got lots of armor internally. Energy missile ballistic, though. I think this guy's got to go. Got to watch out for that PPC. Ah, oh, where are we here? God damn it, what am I doing? Okay, those are... <laughs> Reinforcements, where are we? Here we are. Stop hitting the map that way. Sprinted. Let's go after this guy. Uh, 26, 23, 29. It's a hunchback. He 
Yeah. Copy that, Commander. Yeah, a couple hits. Critical hit, Commander. Yeah, okay. Acid, eh? It's GTFO, man. Pegasus. A lot of misses. One, two, three, four. Seven. There might be another one down there somewhere. Okay, Hunchback's got our back back to our side over here. That's only going to be the tag from back there, I think. Right? Probably. Yeah, that's the medium laser range there, I think. This is the tag range, so... Or no, that's the magna range. Let's go here. We don't have a tag. Right, they all all well with a medium laser range in the sky. Okay, we're taking it. Nothing. Nothing. Yep, good luck with that. All right, finally getting up here into the battle. I think we're going to go after this bulldog, try and get rid of it early. Reporting critical hit. Nice. Thirty percent, eh? Uh. Bulldog, see ya. Still going. Still going. Huh. Yep. Maybe not for long. Nice. Oops, I made a mess. You did. But that's your job. How might I help? Okay, that'll just be the tag. That whole one or two square jumps, eh? Move back here. Yeah. Don't like the fact that that PPC is still hanging around. We're gonna have to go up to the Arctic Fox, I think, earlier. Earlier rather than later. If we can keep the hunchback till last, that would be nice. Then we can maybe try and pull its legs off. I mean, it really doesn't matter. We're only getting two parts out of this anyway, but... I think we're probably going to have to go down there, though, at some point. I mean, I guess I could go down there with the, uh, the Jenner, hammer somebody, hammer them the next turn, and then jump away. 
it's probably the best way to do that. Depends on where this hunchback goes. Like, we might be able to get behind him. Ooh. At least we've got the height advantage. Ah, maybe we get that guy next. Well, that nuts. It's this guy, the pirate guy. This guy right here. Yeah, let's see if we can get this guy. All weapons committed. Okay, good hits. Good hits. Let's back up. Let's just get over here. Gonna go after the same guy. Oh, nice chances to hit. Yeah! See ya! Kill confirmed. Enemy Thank God they got low armor. Alright, so they've only got seven guys. So they're down to five. So it's a star on star. Awaiting order. Now you can't fire a maneuver, not yet. So you do have to move. Wait, uh... Try and stay away from that damn Arctic Fox. Actually, let's just back up and not fire this turn. Now that the mortar's gone, we can afford to uh, wait for a little bit of positioning. I don't like the fact that that Arctic Fox has got PPC on it. I'm gonna see where he's gonna go here. All right, see if we can maneuver behind him now, Helion. Can we get any kind of maneuver on that guy? We can come around for the Owens though, that's probably a good idea. Let's just drop the three ER mediums on him, get some heat back. We're hitting the wrong side anyway, his other side's the one that's most damaged. We don't have fire maneuver. Um, So we have to move. Okay, this gives us a shot at the Owens again. It's from the side, but whatever, we'll take it. Firing. Shouldn't have fired the machine guns, but whatever. But whatever. Still presenting a juicy side to us, so maybe we can try and blow up that uh, torso with his rifles on it. I'm talking about the hunchback there, guys, sorry. All right, Helion. Uh, you have to move, so let's just do this. I gotta be careful here until we, they lose a few more of their guys. I don't wanna get overzealous here and take some major damage. All right, let's go after this guy. All right, one hit. So 
Was this the Arctic Fox? That is the Arctic Fox. Urban. Okay, he backed up. Yeah, we don't quite have the jump potential we used to. I was hoping to come down in here and attack the, herb, the hunchback, but not going to happen that way. But we could come around this side. Can we get a blue line on this guy? No. But that's fine. I think we're in a position where we can jump down now if we wanted to. Okay, some nice hits. That's the side we want to take out too, so. Alright, you gotta move. Can we get a direct line of sight on anybody? We can. There's the Owens. Where is it? Right there. Side shot. Is that just movable though? It is. Let's go after this guy. He's taking a lot of damage already. Okay, large hit. Nice. Oh, uh, we got green on this guy. But we won't be able to pen the back, I don't think, if we attack him. I don't want to sit here either. That'll just be bad for me. We have another Owen shot here anywhere? We do from back here. Do from back here. Alright, one more hit. Nice. I don't think we're in medium laser range there, are we? It's just tag range, I think. That opens up us up to the Arctic Fox. Ah, I don't know. Yeah, let's go up to the Arctic Fox. Yes, okay, we got a tag on him. Got some fire down there now too, which is nice. A little bit of heat. Things are really heating up. Still got five. Oh, that Owens just sat there. At least it looks like that what it was was what it was. Come on, what are you guys doing? Feel free to just sit there. Okay, we got lucky there, I think. Could have been way worse. All right, Goofy. Yes, Commander. Okay, let's go after this Owens. Oh, really? Target confirmed. <sighs> Damn it. 
I need to pay more attention to what I'm doing. Alright, firing on the Owens again. Trying to GTFO, man. Can't jump down, huh? Huh. I'm saving that uh, Owens for the, uh, the for Helian for the Kid Fox. I want to hit this guy. All weapons committed. No damage detected. Oh, we got some damage, just not a lot. Just not a whole hell of a lot. Okay, they're spread out now, which is really nice. Alright, thank you goodness for those big misses. Somebody's getting overheated. Commander. Oh, I can't hit the... Uh... Oh, I can't from here, though. There we go. Uh, so I'll leave one medium laser off, everything else firing. Oh, are you kidding me? I'm guessing you didn't like that, did you? I didn't like it. You missed with the big one. Yes, Commander. Making me use up other other mechs here to fix your problems here. All right. See if we can finish him up. Roger. There goes a leg. Nice. Looks like I lead a new target. Looks like you might be the commander of the second lance. All right, what do we got going on over here? So that Hunchback is really being ineffective. That Pirate Urban Mech is firing a lot. I think the Arctic Fox, the PPC, really needs to go, though. The Pegasus is taking a little bit of damage, but not much. Although it is moving itself into the nice open space here. Where are you going? No idea what's going on with this guy. Right here. Mm-hmm. Right here. Uh-huh. Can he you jump down? Nope. Apparently not. It's too dangerous for you to jump down, apparently. We do not have a shot. That's probably good. We gotta cool off anyway. Now can I jump down? I most certainly can. I'd love to take advantage of this. Engaging jump jets. What's up, Bubba? All right. Uh We see if we can core this guy or uh. just fire on him. See what we get. Enemy mech. Critical damage detected. What's the plan?
Might be a bad idea, but we're going to take it anyway. All right, firing on this guy's backside. Lost evasive. All right, we're not getting anything on these guys. Let's just get around to here for now. All right, Dallas. All right, drop some missiles on this guy's rear. Confirmed. Wow. Thanks for showing up. We need to get you an indirect fire module. Okay, well, that's kind of bonus on our side. They couldn't get to us. Huh. Yeah, a couple points. We should be able to clean up this uh, uh, this um, hunchback next turn. Oof, nothing, huh? Oh, let's get around here. Location confirmed. Can't be not shooting this turn. Okay, beautiful. Alright, stripping armor. That's the way I like it. I think I just hit on Ooh, see ya. Infiltrator. This is just asking for a back shot, isn't it? Just asking for a back shot. That's not so bad. Oh, God. It's a bad idea. Bad, bad, bad idea. Engaging jump jets. Don't think we need to rush this. I like what that risk... Mac, we don't need to rush this one. Anything? Anything? Ah, let's just come around this way. That's a side shot. All right. See ya. Target okay. Goofy. You have orders? I do. Fire, please. I'll take one hit in the tag any day. That's nice. I think if we can find a way to squeeze two jump jets. Oh, you're backing up now. If we can find a way to squeeze two jump jets into all our guys, I think that's probably the best way to do it. Yeah, a whole lot of nothing. It's overheating. Uh huh.
All right, there's our next target. As much as I wanted to get this guy early, I think we can probably kill this guy if we can get a focus fire on him. Oh, that's the Arctic Fox. Can we get the uh, Urban Mech? No, he's not in a position to be hit. Arctic Fox is overheating, so we're going to move in for a shot on him. And firing. Wow. Guess I'm gonna have to try harder. Reporting. You think? I'm gonna have to get you a shiz ton of like medium and small lasers and the fastest mech I can find. Hope you hit once or twice. Alright, firing. Alright, significant damage. You have the ability to do anything at this point? Oh wait, 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 wait. Oh, oh, whoa. Hey, let's see what this baby can do. Yeah. Alright, one hit, nice. Okay, he's moving to cool off. Okay, I'm going to go Vigilance. I want to see if she can move before the Kit Fox next turn. Let's go on this guy. Ooh, that was weak. I was really hoping for a good connect there. Yeah. That's high. Oh yeah, look at, look at you guys, eh? Friggin' like piranhas swarming in for the kill after the enemy's been bitten. He's changed his side towards me, though. Welcome to the fight! Enemy mech. Critical damage. Detected. How might I help? You can't even jump down. Stay out of the rough terrain. Yeah, it won't matter. Move into here. Let's see if we can get rid of this PPC here. Oof. Slightly better over here. Let's take it. Couple hits or one hit. Oh, there goes the right torso. Beautiful. Is he gone? Oh, he's gone. Probably running an XL engine. XL engines, guys, don't do it. Don't do it. How many times have I said it? How many times? All right, leaving this ER medium off, firing the rest. Yeah, finally hitting when it's not really that important. Yeah. This is going to be infiltrator's kill here. No idea which side's damaged the most. I got a feeling it's this side. Not that it really matters at this point. See ya. There it is, folks. Alright, there we go. 112,000. 
that should cover our repairs I think without too much of a problem we did take a little bit of damage that airburst mortar I think did the most uh, I'm gonna forgo the mech parts for a second to see what we got down here what we can use um, ERP PC is kind of nice but that 50 heat early game yeah rocket 15 what's the weight of this guy one ton it's a possibility to take that tag is still is really really nice uh, end of steel fire control system energy that's a possibility heavy pharaoh ju six jump jets we don't have any jump jets right now sensors sentinel uh, active sensor probes counters ECM stealth by four increased last sensor range and C3 era range it's if everybody's C3 I believe and some ammo don't really know a whole lot of about a lot of this stuff I think I might take that and the gunnery uh, or the energy module but just let me see what else here endo steel I think we're okay did we need this for the uh, oh man the other thing is to go tag and uh, endo steel I can't remember if we still have endo steel intact on the uh, um, the risk urban mech uh, tough choice the hunchback part would really be nice. Let's go this route and see what we get. Wow. Two Owens parts. Hunchback, Arctic Fox, Urban Mac parts. Some heat sink, so that's good because we need those to get the Urban Mac back up and running. Omnipod hand. All right. All right, let's have a look here. All right, I have nothing for repairs in a couple of days. So I want to have a look at the mech base real quick. We're going to advance forward. Uh, where is... Let's manage our task here. Where's the urban mech? We need to get you up here. So this, these will all be back in four days. All right. One, two, three, four. I'm just getting them all back. We can't do anything until our pilots are back anyway, so. Um, let's have a look at the mech base real quick. So, storage. You used to be able to combine parts from other mechs. Is there any way to do that? Compatible with other variants. Okay. So we can, we can, we can ready, ready another urban mech. Oh, I see how it's done now. That makes really good sense. So we could put together an urban mech. And this is the potential that we could get out of it. Okay. Don't have enough for a kit fox. Hollander 2. Is there a compatibility? No. Cattle Master. Hornet. You know what? Let's uh I gotta be uh managing my my sea bills a little better here. The stuff that we definitely don't want, I'm just going to start trashing. Hornet, we definitely don't want. Uh, we don't need this. Stingers. Um, well, we could assemble it and then sell it. Like take the pieces off it and sell it. That's probably a better idea to do. Falcon is 30 tons. And I can't tell if it's compatible with anything that I scrolled out. Okay. Arctic Fox. Alright, I think we're good here. Now we could assemble another urban mech. Maybe we do that, see what we get out of it. R59. Does that mean we're going to be assembling an R-59? Four ballistic, two laser. This one is two missile, one laser, two ballistic. 
R25. That's the missile variant. Up to 13 jump jets. That's insane. Oh, man. Um, now, what's the other variant we have? The R5? Here it is. R5 and R10. So this is 4 and 2. Agrarian work, eh? I think these are all pretty much garbage. This is the one with the mortar, right? Replacing the AC-10 with a mortar. Uh, rockets. Two rocket launchers and... Surprised how they managed to repair the mangled and broken auto cannon and welded two rocket launchers. Well, let's go with this version. It's the most balanced too. I mean, you're not gonna, we're not going to fit that many ballistic weapons on it. I mean, we could go with one, a machine gun variant, but the fact that they're so slow, what's the point, right? Let's go with this one. Let's assemble this already. It. Oh. Need two more parts. What are we adding to it? What was the crap? What was the... The R5 was the... Uh, this was the one that was the... Uh, cultivator, right? Confirm. There we go. Well, that's really cool. That makes so much more sense than before. We can, as we can assemble another one, too. Um... So this guy is the mortar version. R25 was the, what was this one again? Stealth armor and rockets. Well, that's okay. It's ready that one. All right, thanks Bubba. Let's have a look and see what we got here. Come on. Oh, yeah, duh. Uh, all right, so the risk version is up and running. Let's check this guy out. Pepper box rifle, medium pirate laser, medium rifle ammo, nothing. Let's just do this and see what we can get out of this. Uh, we're probably going to just scrap it. It doesn't look like we can do much with this guy. Although it is kind of all around. The 60 core though, it's so slow. We don't have the heat sinks for it. All right, let's just uh, strip this guy. Uh, strip all. Hope that's strip all armor. So if we do, actually, let's just go back for a second. Uh, I'm interested to see if they get stealth armor off the other one. So if we scrap this, everything just goes into storage, but I would rather repair all the crap first. All right, well, let's, I don't know, let's just scrap it. Let's just scrap it. 75,000, I don't want to spend that right now, so let's go ahead. All of this stuff will go into our inventory, so that's fine. This guy here, let's have a look at him. Oh yeah, of course, stealth armor's gone. <laughs> Ah, uh, of course. Uh, we got a tag, two tags. Wow, really? Rocket twenties. Got no, we got no fusion core. Um, proof fire control system. Uh, 
Yeah, I think we just ditched this guy. Guardian ECMs. We got a lot of good stuff on this guy. But we don't need like four more heat sinks. We don't need to keep it, so let's just scrap her. The hard points are nice, but I'm thinking that this one is probably going to be better off. Right? So let's just scrap this guy. Alright, now we can build the risk one. Uh, what the hell happened there? Refit? Wow. Okay. Do a little dance. I guess he's just happy about being refit. LBX-10, 11 tons is a little much, I think. Now, we were talking about putting the missile launcher on this guy. Um, we got a 100-ton core. We got lots of heat sinks now. These ones are damaged, so I should put these in and repair them, I think. Um, I think it's these ones that are damaged, right? Yeah. We need, what, six? Let's just look at the weapons first. All right, so if we go with... Streak LRM-15, put it in the arm, and then the ammo, uh, Streak LRM, six tons left over, we've already, well, the armor's not maxed, now it is, all right, let's just do shift minus one, still got lots of weight left, man. All right, so equipment, we have endo steel we can drop in, which is nice. It's only giving us, what, one, is that one and a half tons or half a ton? One and a half tons, that's plenty on a mech like this. Uh, so we don't need the BC ballistic unless we've got, I don't think we've got any kind of uh, ACs, yeah. Pepper box rifle. Um, Yeah, we don't have any ammo for that anyway. You know what? Where are... How much is this way? Seven tons. We could turn this guy into a direct fire boat. But we've only got two tons of ammo, so that's like, what, 12 turns of firing? We could go with an MRM-10. It's like three tons. And then, that's a direct fire weapon though, right? So ammo, we could go with uh, SRM. Is it under SRM ammo? What's it under? Where is our ammo for that? MRM, here we go. Uh, question do we have case though we do okay I don't know if there's gonna be a viable mech at the speed though oh we need heat sinks we need six heat sinks still which is fine I mean we got the slots for it so let's put some in the legs oops not the devils All right, five, six. What's our sinking like? Should be pretty good, I think. Oh, shoot. This guy is going to require double heat sinks. Damn it. We've got seven of them, though. I don't know if we're going to have space. We're not going to have space. We can't fit six heat sinks in this guy. There's no way. There's no way. Not even five. We'd have to go this route with the core. It would be the only way to do this. So if we go... Uh, this route, we're overweight. Oh, I guess we still have that in there. Still really not really that viable, is it?
pull that out because we don't need it. And then we would could put the uh, we just be relying on an MRM twenty and two tons of ammo. Huh. Like I hesitate to put anything that's short range in this thing because it's just not going to be getting into combat anytime soon. Well, I don't know. With the, that core, that's like way faster. Let's do this for a second. Do we have any SRM ammo? We do. So let's go, um, let's go for a close range build. So first thing we need to do is drop in our heat sinks. So we got one, two, three, and then let's grab our, where are you here? SRM6 Valiant. Right, where's our ammo? Um, put it on this side with a case. Probably going to want jump jets on this guy. Let's look at weapons again. So we've got enough for two, three laser weapons. So if we go, uh, like our heat sinking is really good, right? We could go clan ER medium on this side. Hmm. Heat efficiency should still be good. Yeah. Okay. Equipment. Let's grab two jump jets. Repair that one. Um, so that's an advanced fire control system we already have. Slick suite goes where? Right there. Um, armor's already maxed. We could put the ECM in this guy. And that would be it for the weight. Or one and a half tons. This is what? How much is this way? Three tons. We could go with the MRM-10 instead. But this does 10 damage per missile. Range on this is what? 330 max. And the MRM-10's range is a little better, I think, if I'm not mistaken. Right? Like 450 or something? 510. We got accuracy ammo, which means it'll be hitting a little more often at longer ranges. Minus 20% chance to be intercepted by AMS. Yeah, I don't know, man. Maybe we go that road instead. It's the same weight, right? three tons let's go that road and ah, I like the punchiness of the 10 damage missiles though but I like the range I think a little better than that we'll see how it goes I mean we may not stay this route but we'll stay this way for now um, what's our heat sinking like now really good um,
Anything else we could add? Uh, we've already got basic sensors and cockpit and stuff. I mean, we could go... Could go with more weapons. We got the heat sinking for it. Oh, you know what we could do? Um, could drop a tag on this guy. All right, let's tag, let's repair it. And we have half a ton left over. Um, small laser, because why not? Let's try it and see what happens. 15 days, but... I'll let you know when that's done. Yeah, you know what? That might not be too bad. Alright, we got another tag now. The Prana's already got a tag, I believe, right? Is the Prana with the tag? Prangania. Let's refit the Prana. Let's pull out the machine gun. She really isn't doing very much. Because uh, I think, probably, i got to remember it's under weapon now. Uh, we can put a tag in this guy. Wow, it actually goes overweight that way? Really? That's kind of shocking. Um, sure. Uh, what's our heat seeking like right now? Pretty good. I'm wondering if we replace... ER medium pirate laser is 20 heat though. 40 damage though. Um, eesh, two slots. Six bar. You know what? Cannot add part. Not enough free slots. What? I thought we replaced that. Weird. All right. If we're gonna be over, we might as well be over. A little bit of heat over. Not much. And then let's reduce, um, God, such a hard choice. He's going to be in close, but I mean, ah, uh, geez, I don't know. Sure. It's not optimal, but we'll do it. Three days. That'll put him in battle before the end of the month. Uh, Firefly. Let's have a look here. Um, we've already got a guardian on this guy, so we don't need anything else. Where is... Kit Fox. Let's get that uh, patchwork moved over and then let's go with uh, the Sentinel sensors. Wow, it's two tons over. Oh, it's three tons. Wow. All right, maybe not. Uh, we're not going to be able to fit that in either. Yeah. You got standard. Let's put the improved fire control system in here. Repair it. Wait, is that better than the clan standard? Zoom up to 2. Thermal vision 210. Where is this? 10% called shot, though. Yeah, so this is better. That is a little better. Alright, well, that's about it, I think. 
Yeah, let's just confirm it. And we'll get these mechs back. Let's uh, manage our tasks a little better here. Urban Mech can come down. Prana and Kit Fox back in three days. And then we'll be into the next battle. All right, so I'm going to leave the episode there, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did drop a like, if you haven't subscribed, please feel free to subscribe. And you can drop any comments in the comment section down below. Until next time, we'll see you later.